Hey guys and welcome to part 2 of the Take Hinter tutorial series. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the entry widget. The entry widget is a fairly basic widget in Take Hinter used to take input from the user in the form of an entry box. Right, so it comes with a few handy customization features as well that we'll be discussing in this tutorial as well. So let's begin right away. Now, the thing is about entry boxes is that they usually have some kind of uh, supporting text or label next to them to basically explain what they're there for, right? So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna first going to create some labels. And we'll go with the username and password labels. Basically, we're going to be creating a login kind of page. You'll understand that more as we proceed. And let's just quickly copy this and paste, change the names and password. And let's give this a value of 80. And let's see if this is all running correctly. Yep, that looks all right. Let's get on to creating the entries. Entry, self dot entry, tk dot entry, self dot frame, just like before. And actually, we can stop right here because entries don't actually need many parameters. And let's go with the value of 100 and y is equal to 50. The reason we're going with 50 is because we want this entry box, this is for the username. We want this entry box to show up right in front of this label that we created. So basically showing that it's for the username. And the second one is what we'll keep for the password. We'll give it the same Y as the password label. And there, that this should work just fine. And there we go. We have our two labels and two entry boxes and looks pretty good if I may say so myself. Right. Now obviously we're not they're not here for show. We're actually we actually need to be able to retrieve the input from the user. How are we gonna do that? Well we just need a button and the get function. Let's start off with the button. TK dot button self dot frame Let's give it a text of submit. Submit is a pretty common button that you'll see. And we'll create a command called submit. Okay. Let's place this button somewhere, somewhere in the corner actually. It, it makes more sense there. Somewhere by about 150 and about 120. Right. Now let's actually create this function because we can't run the code unless we do. Submit self, uh, which reminds me actually there's a small mistake here. Self dot submit, right? And now here comes the get function. The get function is a function that you can use on several of TickEnter's uh, value storing widgets, which happens to include the entry. So all you do is use the is use dot get on the entry, and we have its value. Here we'll just print out the values of both of them. Here we go. Now let's try this. Here we go. As you can see, we have our submit button right there. Let's type something, John Smith, password 12345, and submit. There we go. We've successfully printed out our the username and password that the user entered. Now obviously, uh, when you're creating a, a login page, you wouldn't want to simply print it out. You would uh, com obviously compare it to some stored values and then check to see whether the comparison was true or false, right? Uh, and by the way, in the previous video, we wrote self.master is equal to root. Now while that is technically correct, it should, we should write master here because we actually went to the bother of writing of importing you know, you know passing root into the class and bringing it here the reason why root works as well is because any code written over here is basically global python code 
so it can be accessed anywhere. Right, so we still have some time, so let's discuss some small customizations that we can put on in our entries. For one, we can use the width parameter. Like, uh, let's say you thought those entry boxes were too big, so we can shorten them down a bit. And there, some smaller. Keep in mind that uh, the width is equal to 12 means you can put about 12 characters in it. Let's see, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, that's 12 characters. So it's probably best to actually keep this at 20 because well, names are, can be pretty long. Right? So the second customization that I want to take a look at is regarding passwords, which I think is a pretty neat feature that Taken Draw offers. This is the show parameter. What this does is convert anything within the take inter, uh, entry box into asterisks. Now let's actually just see what this does. Now, uh, n due to privacy reasons, any form that you see online when you type in the password, it's you don't actually get to see the password. It's all an asterisk, right? So with this feature, we basically enabled that. Watch, one, two, three, four, five, but it all showed up in asterisks. Let's actually try submitting this and see what gets printed out. There, John, one, two, three, four, five. It's, as you can see, it still prints out n normally. So it's just for outward appearances. Right, uh, one more thing, let's take a brief look at, is the BD. BD stands for border. Default is two. The default value of a border is two on uh, entry. Let's run this. And there. As you can see over here, we've created a sort of sunken, sunken like effect in there. That's purely aesthetical, and it's up to you whether you want it or not. Let's just lower this down a bit. All right, one last thing I, I want to discuss is insert. Um, Self.entry.insert, the insert function. The, it takes two parameters. The first is the index at which you want to insert some text. And the <clears throat> second is the text. Let's try this. <clears throat> there you go. As you can see, you, some, you basically just entered some text in here. Now, uh, I, I, don't, I don't think this is really much that useful, but one use I can think of it is that, uh, let's say you didn't want to keep any labels over here, right? Uh, any username and password labels showing what it's for. So instead, you just create the entry field and then insert some text into it as a basically a default kind of placeholder to sort of tell the user what it's for. Like, uh, let's, one second, let's copy this over here, password. So basically, if someone were to see this, uh, right, we have changed the name. Uh, right, so this <clears throat> obviously tells the user it's pretty obvious what exactly we're going for here. Even if we didn't have these two labels, someone would be able to look at this and, and understand what this form is for. Right, so that's the end of this video. In the next, we'll be discussing radio buttons and check buttons.